So, uh, a couple of days ago, a new Bangtan bomb came out that I've been wanting to draw for a while. Um, well, I mean, I've been wanting to draw Dechita for a while. And I've tried and I have failed and I, I don't think I'm going to be showing you that because it's it's so bad it's actually offensive so <laughs> I would rather not show anyone but this practice video is perfect I want I mean I love sword fights like any anyone I think so let's do some sword fighting with a pencil I don't know I, I haven't really figured out where to start like uh, I just picked a few you know I just took some screenshots from the video of things I wanted to draw and some of them are literally just his face uh, but uh, let's get to that oh where to start if, um, I should start with something simple I don't think I don't think there's any easy ones maybe one where his head is facing this way because that's for some reason that's always easier for me to draw. Does anyone else feel like that where there's just one side that is just easier for some reason? I like these two. But which one? Both? Which one? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want to draw both. Let's go with this one. I think I picked this one because of the fingers. They weren't like completely close. It's more interesting even though his head is more tilted, which is more int I could combine them. No, too much effort. I'm going to do that with one of the other ones. I don't know if there's a way you can see my drawing and the picture at the same time. So you have something cooler to look at. I don't know. How big should I make? Is it reflective even? I don't know. I feel like it's always difficult to f figure out the positions and getting the the body shape correct. That's, uh, <laughs> he looks like he's pushing his chin forward. That's not what it's supposed to be. Mm, I should probably have done some warm up because I haven't drawn in a couple of days. Let's just not worry, just have fun with it and tilt it a little bit so I can see better. Head, and there's a body kind of goes, kind of, let's kind of find the energy in the picture, that sounds weird, but it makes sense in my head. Where's the weight? He's looking this way. He's kind of looking down. trying to do more real life sketching. I mean sketching from pictures, reference use, using references. Um, I think every most artists go through a phase where they feel like that's cheating. And I've definitely done that for a really long time. But it helps. I feel like I've gotten a lot better at 
understanding what's actually going on in the picture. And it's a lot of fun. It looks a lot better than when I just try to pull a pose out of my head. It gives a bit of confidence as well. And we need to balance this white. Like the distance here is smaller than over here, I think. Am I drawing it in the same size? I didn't even mean to. Okay, I'm gonna draw the hands in detail later. I have a habit of just drawing all the details, details immediately. And then... I have to change some things, and then it's just annoying. Okay, so the bottom of the, of the sword is leaning on his shoulder. Kind of. Kind of going up at this angle. And it's bending a tiny bit, isn't it? It doesn't have to be exactly the same, but it's easier to to draw if it, it if it fits. I feel like the sword is too thick. I'm pretty sure it is. That's too thin, isn't it? I don't know. Come back. Yeah, the angle is not the same. It's fine, as long as it looks real. It's just more difficult to make it look real. If it's not the same. Hmm, is this... I don't even know, is this a katana? Or is... As there is, uh, I don't even know if Korea has any s traditional swords with special names. I don't know. I've always been very fascinated with East Asian culture, but I haven't really learned much about Korea until recently. Like before BTS, I just didn't have a reason to look into Korea. It looks like his thumb is bending the wrong way in the drawing. Oh, my hands. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fix it later. It looks like the weight is alright. So the nose. Another thing I've been struggling with is drawing faces that actually look like real people and not just the same face over and over again. So that's something I want to do better. It always, always takes me a while to be able to draw faces well, or like specific people. I always feel like I need to know them well before I can capture capture them in a drawing. My arm is hurting. Yes. I've only just started being better at drawing BTS. 
it's so nice to draw something and it actually looks like the person you're trying to draw and not just a person with the same wearing the same clothes. I mean, it's not really. It, he's making the same expression, but it doesn't really look like him yet. That's what I mean. He looks very arrogant in this. Like in this one, he looks cool. In this one, he just looks snobby. I don't know. His mouth is more open. It's not open, but it just looks like it is. He's more relaxed. Is that because his eyes are black? No, he looks like a jerk. That's he's not meant to look like a jerk. What about his head shape? Oh, I'm just realizing you can't. How long is his hair? It's kind of... Here? Maybe you should draw... Mm, I like this head better. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna mix it up. I said I wasn't, but... I might have just ruined it. Also been working on trying to do I got distracted by the window. Trying to draw F figuring out my own style for people. I have a my my art style is very very mixed. His head looks like I put it on wrong. This is the size and this is the angle. It just looks like <laughs> like a doll or the head is kind of twisted. And I haven't even done anything. Look at that. It just looks like a creepy doll. If this doesn't work, I have to go back to the the other reference. He's kind of tilting his head back, but looking... But it looks so weird. It looks so bad. Is it, is it the pose? Maybe it is. I'm just gonna go back. Very flat chin from this angle. It goes in and out and forehead and then a rounded head. That's just shape. I usually don't do it this way, but um, I usually also draw the head first. Sometimes it's easier to figure out the shape this way. Eyes are always like a triangle shape. Not always, but usually when I draw him. Mm. 
Much cooler. It looks like a cat. Cat mode. Yes. Better. And then the hair kind of goes this way. And this hair kind of go. Floof. The ear is kind of here. I usually, always just draw ears this way. The cover the earrings. Chin is invisible, and some more here. Doesn't again it doesn't really look like him, but it looks better. His eye his eye is too big. Now he just looks like he has makeup on. <laughs> he looks like one of those Like delinquent manga characters with really droopy eyes with black circles. Better. Much better. It still doesn't look like him though. I think it's the hair. It looks blonde. He has been blonde, I don't know what it is. <laughs> is there hair sticking up like this? Doop 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 fluff. Fluff fluff fluff. Too thick, but that's fine. Also, his shoulders are broader than I thought. Push them out a bit. Can we do that? Fold right here. Higher. I'm really bad at following instructions. I'm just doing my own thing as soon as I feel like it. And uh, it doesn't look right. Also, I'm. this is my first first time using this sketchbook. And it's, it smudges a lot. More than expected. It 
looks like a teenager in this one. And then the shirt. Usually follow the lines of the shirt to figure out. Not the folds. Like the shoulder is supposed to be here, so this is where the sh the, the shirt starts changing shape. Even though it's supposed to look like it's too big. I'm pretty sure that it's not just too big. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be too big. Pretty sure he can afford getting clothing in the right size. Yeah, but still, if you, if I got rich today, there is still clothing I would wear that doesn't fit me. <laughs> like there's no, I don't want to buy a new one. I like this one. I used to not really notice the difference in their skin colors. Like they, I just, they said the sugar had, was, had paler skin and I just believed them because I couldn't tell. Uh, right here you can tell. <laughs> it's very pale. I can tell. Also, Again, because I'm just... I mean, strangers all look the same to me. I can't tell them apart. Skin tones or anything. Need to know them better first. already stopped following. I did it again. Just. That's a weird shape. That's really difficult to simplify. His shirt has a mouth. And taking the easy way. Proudly. Because why not?
Fingers missing, I just realized. But it's not in the picture. Where is it? to clean it up more later. I don't know. Let's do another one. This one. No. No. Oh. Like this kind of looks like him. It's much more simplified. I like that kind of style. These kind of fit next to each other. I kind of want some balance, but it's a sketchbook. Uh, sketchbook. If I'm going into too much detail, it's gonna drive me nuts. I also try to capture some jumping pictures, but uh, it, they didn't look that good. I mean, it'll still be fun to draw. to all of them. Something that fits in here could probably be this one. That's the screen. Thank you. 
this over here. The elbow is usually around here. That fits. The arm is kind of in this angle. There's a hand. It's a little bit bigger. And the ankle is wrong. It's a little bit higher up. around here yeah this leg is bent a little bit it's a triangle shoe oops that sounded like I could get a really bad paper cut on it Kind of from the side, so I feel like this big leg is going to take up most of it. Even though he has skinny legs. The second... It's kind of hidden behind the other one. It goes... And this one should be bent more then. Out a little bit further. And then the other one is kind of hiding here I hate drawing legs I usually avoid it <laughs> I always have look through all my old drawings none of them have legs or at least not the second half. Very rarely do I draw feet. Now I've become better at doing it, not at drawing it. But still. Why is this this is all wrong? Is it? It, it just looks wrong. One more time, a little bit faster, before I mess up this. I'm drawing it faster because sometimes it feels like it, it works better that way. Triangles. better. Still looks a little bit awkward. Did I draw it bigger? I feel like all the proportions are wrong. I'm gonna see. Let's see. Mm. 
Yeah, the shoulder's supposed to be back further. So it kind of is wrong. What's that little shiny thing on the shoe? Oh no, wait, there it is. Shoelaces, boop doop, doop doop. This thing. Tell if his head is too small. It's too far off. His hair kind of looks like this. This bowl. Okay, 
this. I mean, this sketchbook was supposedly for dry media, but uh, I don't think it is. I mean, I wanted to use watercolors in it anyway, but it's supposed to be for pencils. Is that because it blends easily? It blends too easily. Definitely not for sketching. The, ooh, the wristband. It's about this size and this direction, so it's just about drawing and somewhat even. Good, I like that. Next one. After I turn, I should use this one. Not this one, but like. Uh, I've got his bracelet. Hmm. Maybe a face. I have three faces. A happy one, a laughing one, or a cool one. I like this one the best, but I... Mm. I'm not good at drawing teeth, so I feel like this would be difficult. I'm just gonna do the easier one. Also because it, I like it. Thank you. Why do I do it this way? I can't. Maybe you should just. You can't see the reference, I'm sorry. Oh, it's getting dark outside. Yeah, excuse the lighting. It's uh it's winter. It's almost it's almost four PM. So it's starting to get dark. Big head. I kind of st oh, I still want to do the sitting one and one of the other poses. We could do. Maybe a little bit smaller. Maybe. Thank 
I usually don't really draw lips when I draw my style, but I feel like I should. It's, it's not that big, it goes more horizontal. I said a triangle. And one of my favorite things to draw is hair. That's probably why I picked this one. Because the hair looks cool. So one strand here. He's actually looking down in the picture, but he's looking up in my drawing. I need to squish the eye a little bit to make him look, look down a little bit more. Oh, he's like looking sideways. He's looking at the instructor, I think. I don't remember. Who's texting me? Or was that a Snapchat? Or Snap? A weather update from my family. see that much of the ear, which means there's actually more hair that I haven't drawn. Is it selfish to call your own drawing handsome? I saw 
I saw a video of someone talking about their drawings and they always felt bad or weird when they complimented their own art. And I feel like you shouldn't. If you don't like looking at it, it's gonna be... It's just gonna be frustrating. It feels much better when you're satisfied with your results and you are so happy about it that you want to show it to people. I think that's a good thing. Even if you have a lot to learn, you should be proud of it. If you're doing better than you did, than you usually do, then you have to <laughs> then you have a right to brag about it. I mean, you always have. I think the reason I, I like this picture is because it actually it looks like it's the kind of thing you would see in a manga. It doesn't look like something someone would just do, like naturally, by accident. it's already a long video I don't know if I should do another one I kind of want to maybe this is fine maybe two full pages pages were too much like this is all ruined at this one maybe I should fix the nose it's going a lot faster now it's mostly the first one Dude, dude, small triangle, and then I don't know what this shape is called. I always feel like I ruin it if I draw the other lip. I would color it with watercolors, but I don't know if this sketchbook can take it. I thought it could take pencil, but apparently not. It's, apparently, it's not ex as good as I thought it would be. It's, uh, ideal for a, a variety, a variety of dry media. And there is uh, pencil sketching. On the front. Atisa. I I accidentally accidentally bought so many, so I'm all black now. You know, I uh, I think that's it for now. Uh, I might be able to do a part two. If I don't just finish it on my own time, but I definitely want to do like there are three more I want to do, and I don't know if they fit in on this page. Maybe I should do a different, another page. What day is it? It's the day before my birthday. Tomorrow, February ninth. We are going into the one month a year where I'm the same age as Sugar. 
because he is exactly he's exactly 11 months older than me um, so we're the same age tomorrow because that's how ages work either way thanks for watching I hope you liked it this was fun and calming except for this frustrating scratchbooks but that doesn't matter thanks for watching and bye